My name is Sean. I talk about all things Eurovision. I have a lot of thoughts. I just have a lot of words. They need some booze. I think it does need a bit of a revamp. I'll tell you what I don't like it and you know I will. This is qualifying. It makes me emotional. And we forgot about the bobs. The Lord has heard my prayers. What do you guys think? Comment, subscribe. What's up Eurovision people? My name is Sean and on my channel I talk about all things Eurovision. Benidorm Fest semi-final 2 was a really interesting night. I didn't watch it, but I'm gonna react to some of the songs. This song that I'm gonna react to right now, Remitente by Maria Pelae, has been my favorite all throughout the Benidorm Fest season. But, because of flamenco PTSD, no one is talking about this as a winner. I think we should be talking about this as the winner of Benidorm Fest. I think it's up there in contention. It doesn't mean that we need to send it to Eurovision, but we have to recognize quality in order to protect the integrity of this young national final that is having us in the palm of its hands. Everyone's talking about Benidorm Fest. So let's carry on the momentum and let's give our big artists the time and the praise that they deserve. Maria Pelai with Remitente came second in the second semi-final. I'm too excited. I'm just gonna watch it. But before I do so, don't forget to comment, subscribe. If you want to hear me shout out more love to your favorite Spanish artists, here I am. And don't forget to come to my Instagram threads, Twitter and TikTok for more Eurovision related material. The rhythm of the song starts immediately. It gets me hooked every time. When I listen to it on Spotify, the rhythm of this is everything. Oh, so she's... She's playing the guitar. I like the staging. It's very red and black. Yes. Oh my lord, her vocal performance is on the money. Her vocals are so crisp, so seasoned. They show that, she, that she's such a veteran. This is... Oh, goosebumps. Oh, oh listen, all oh, the crowd are having it as well. Yes, yes. She doesn't disappoint. She came in there with all of that passion, with all of that fuerza. Yes. Siaoka. I can't believe people aren't talking about this as a as winner potential. Oh, this is a really good camera shot. <laughs> yes! Oh, this is great! The stage director on this one absolutely got it right. And I love that she's interacting with the dancers, effectively she's also dancing. Yeah, this is fantastic. This is my favorite bit. This holds my number one in my Benidorm Fest 2024 ranking. There we go, I said it. I'm I'm sorry. Why aren't we talking about this more? Oh Lord. Yes. 
Por favor, Spain. What Blanca Paloma should have done last year, and I think effectively she did, we're just ignoring it, is that she has planted the seed of risk. And we need to discuss these things. We need to give risk its reward. Why aren't we talking about Maria Pelai as a potential winner of Benidorm Fest? Has the flamenco PTSD gotten to us so much that we're completely crossing this one off? Okay, let me be 100% transparent. When I thought about this as a performance, I wasn't expecting this kind of staging. I would have done something a little bit darker. I would have done something a little bit more Andalusian. I would have, I would have crossed the bridge between Azucar Moreno and Rosalia a bit more. I feel like this was a bit, maybe a bit too blue for my taste. But, but the dancers were fantastic. The camera shots were incredible. The smoke, the, the, the interaction between Maria Pelai and the dancers, I think it was brilliant. I think it was brilliant. And lest we forget, that vocal performance was the best one in this year's Benidorm Fest. Hands down. She serves professionalism. She serves veteranism. She just does everything right. And you can see that she's such an experienced woman on stage. And performances like this protect the integrity of Benidorm Fest in the Spanish music industry. I think there should be something to be said about Spain just saying, listen, we're gonna give you our best song and we don't really care whether you like it or not. And that, that will then improve along the years. But at least the integrity of the Spanish artistry and the Spanish music will be protected on home soil. The San Remo effect, whether it does well or not, it doesn't matter, we're not changing things. Because we know, at least, we're giving you something that we love and we're giving you something that we enjoy and that we're proud of. And following Blanca Paloma, I would go as far as saying we should continue on that narrative. But hey, watch this come fifth. <laughs> watch this come fifth. It's still my favorite song of Benidorm Fest 2024. That's my two cents on Maria Pelae and Remitente. What do you guys think? Do you love it as much as me? Do you think we should be talking about this more? Well, in that case, drop down in the comments and come and subscribe to my channel and follow on Instagram, Threads, Twitter and TikTok and let's continue the conversation over there. Muchísimas gracias. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.